working. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. So, um, I don't think it's working. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. All right. So, so, um, I'm going to be showing y'all a uh, image-based menu that was created using Gal's uh, MV Screen Buttons plugin. It's a great plugin. There will be a link in the description to download it, uh, along with all the text files of the common events events that I'm using, and a link to download the images that I'm using so y'all can do it and see how it actually works. Alright, so... Gauss plugin is really really cool. It allows a lot of uh, customization for touch controls and things of that nature. I'm using it to call events and call images, which is some of the options that's available for it. Let me show you what the menu actually looks like. So this is the start of the menu right here. You click that and it pulls up you know your three base categories which then goes into the buttons that call the actual scenes. All of them work. Uh, the only ones I don't have set in, which I could have, are um, formation options. But yeah, I mean, you set it up on one map, it works on all of them. And you even have a nifty little back button to exit out of everything. So to show you what I've done, uh, you have one base event that is ran on the map itself. It disables menu access and then it calls in the, uh, the script call from the plugin. And then you set a second page and have it blank so it doesn't keep looping. But the plugin in itself, the help file describes everything you could possibly need to know about this plugin. It is very well done. Uh, it's Extremely easy to use. It surprised me with how easy it was to set this up. But a quick breakdown: everything right here is told to you. ID is the uh, index number of the image that you're making. Uh, I start with zero. I don't really think it matters, but I could be wrong about that. Type is the type of uh, area that it's going to be shown. I use maps, so it shows on all maps. But if you only want it to show on like map number five, you would put map. X and then the X being 5 for the map ID. Uh, the image name is the name of the button. You got your XY chords, action type. That's uh, like here, you know, the button being pressed, if it's being triggered, script if it's going to be running a script code, event if it's going to pull a common event. And you got your action, and that's, you know, what happens when that button is pressed. So if it's a button being pressed, it can be up, down, left, right, cancel, any of your basic buttons. Script is the script call that you want to use. Event is the number of the uh, common event. And then E is your transparency setting. I mean, it's really well done. It's very simple. In your database, you want, uh, first off, you want a variable. It really don't matter what you call it. Uh, I called mine menu var, but you have to have that because it controls the back button. But you have your menu. You set your variable to zero. And you have your add button script calls. Uh, your first three, which for me are a gear, team, and um, end. Your uh, chords form and then the individual events that they call and I added the back button. So basically you click the menu, it pulls up these four buttons, and then it deletes the button that says menu. So depending on which one of these three you click, it'll pull one of these three sub-menus. And basically each sub-menu, what it'll do is it'll remove buttons one, two, and three, which are the three base categories, the uh, gear, team, and end. And then, it, like for a sub menu one, it'll show the item button and the equip button, and then you can click one of them, and it'll call the actual scene tied to those buttons. And it's the same for sub menu two and sub menu three. The reason I say you need the variable is because the back button it runs off variables. So if you hit menu, and then you decide ah, I don't want to go to the menu, so you hit the back button. 
it's going to completely pull everything off the screen. It'll remove buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. Button 4 for me is the back button. So you'd hit that and then it reruns the event that puts the menu button back on there. So you get back on the map with the menu button still enabled. But if you made it to submenu 1 and you said, well, I don't, this isn't the right one, you click the back button, it removes buttons 5 and 6, which is what submenu 1 shows, and then it reruns the common event menu, which puts buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4 back on the screen. This is entirely mouse and touch. Keyboard is not controlled whatsoever in it. So it's, it's ideal for, you know, web usage, uh, mobiles mobile devices. Of course, if you're going to be using a mobile device, you have to deal with the uh, scaling of your images and everything. But all told, it's very easy, very simple. Like I said, the image files are downloadable in the link description. The plugin link will be there. The text files for all of this will be there. I mean, it's, it, it is really that simple. I was shocked with how simple and easy it actually was. Um, again, Gal has a lot of really cool plugins for Envy. Um, just give him a look. It's really, really good.